In this video, we're going to complete example two, which says that the diagram at right is a plan view of a swimming pool or an overhead view or bird's eye view of a swimming pool. And then it says the diagram below is a 3D image just showing that the height of the pool is 1.5 meters. So we'll start with question A, which wants us to estimate the area of the base of the pool using the trapezoidal rule. Basically, that means finding the area of the image at the top right here. The problem we're facing here is that this image has curves on it, which makes it almost impossible to find the exact area. We're actually going to estimate the area as it says in the question, and that is what the trapezoidal rule does. It only estimates areas. So how does it do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the image below because we don't really need that in this question. And I'm going to redraw the image above, but I'm going to redraw it with straight edges. And I'm going to make it look like a trapezium. All right, there we're done. So what I've done is I've taken the 2.2 meter line and left it straight. So I haven't changed that one. And the 4.6 meter hasn't changed either. But the other two sides are basically the curved parts turned into straight lines. And the reason I've done that is because I know that this one's 3.2 meters. I don't know the length of the other line, but I don't actually need to know its length. And now that it looks more like a trapezium, it's not going to have the same area, but it's going to be reasonably close. And it's useful because now we can use the formula. Remembering that the two sides that are parallel to each other are the sides inside the brackets. And in this formula, they have what is called D with a subscript of F and D with a subscript of L. That stands for the distance of the first line and the distance of the last line. The 4.6 meters represents the height because the height is the distance between the two parallel sides. Okay, so to find the area, notice it writes, it says approximately equal to, we go H over two, so 4.6 over two bracket, the distance of the first being 2.2 and the distance of the last being 3.2. All right, let's work this out on the calculator, 4.6 divide two times open brackets 2.2 plus 3.2 close the brackets equals and we get 12.42 so the area of the base of the pool is approximately 12.42 meters squared let's now move on to part b which says what volume of water is required to fill the pool right to the top now We've actually done all the hard, wo hard work by finding the area because volume is just area times height. And our area from before was 12.42, or well, approximately 12.42. And the height of the pool is 1.5 meters, as we can see in the bottom right image. So we just multiply them together. What are we going to get? 12.42 times 1.5 equals and we get 18.63 meters cubed now because we're talking about water it'd be nice to put it in liters and the good thing is that one cubic meter is equivalent to one kiloliter so we can rewrite this we can just say well this is 18.63 kiloliters or you could even say 18,630 liters. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.